Oh my God, you guys are not gonna believe this. You guys are not gonna believe this. I can't believe it. Guys, Walking Street is gone. Yes, Walking Street sign. Walking Street sign is gone. Check it out. Check it out. It is gone. They took down the old or the sign that comes across here down off of MacArthur. You can see the steel I beams. They cut them. They've taken down the sign. Because they still got construction going on. They've actually jumped from the right hand side going up Walking Street from Fields Avenue or from MacArthur Highway to the left hand side now. Now they're working on the left hand side, putting in drain ditching through the left hand side. But oh my God, I better get out of the way. Here comes a big truck. But there it is. There it is. It's gone. Walking Street sign is gone. Maybe they're going to replace it with Red Street. Never know, right? You never know. Take a morning walk, shall we? I'm doing a live stream tomorrow, so I eat at breakfast at home. We're just gonna walk up the road here, go to uh, morning, go to um, Angel's Bakery, grab some bacon, grab some rolls, eat at home. So let's go get some bacon and let's talk a little bit. All right, let's talk about. Well, let's get by this little action area here first. Where uh, the clubs are open here in the morning. Get by this little area quick here and get on down the road. Morning. Uh, morning, guys. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard before, but uh, I was saying that. The, uh, the brown sugar here is, good morning, is now for sale. Long-term lease, there it is. Shut down. What's gonna go in there, no one knows. Of course, people are just talking. People are just talking. Just miss, but yes, it is for sale. Long-term lease. And I was told this place here, Camelot. And I was told, but there's nothing on this door that says it is for lease or whatever, but there was also another little store in here, little, a little, uh, I guess I could, V-A-P-E shop was in here, and that's closed too. So I don't know if all three of these buildings are connected, what the deal is, but uh, Brown Sugar Music Bar is for lease. Another iconic, another iconic, um, place here that is uh, no longer up and running uh, they come and they go right they come and they go well well guess what everybody guess what you're not you're not on <laughs> check it out 7-eleven is open it's open finally it's open yay exciting right exciting the 7-eleven is open one of probably 20 within a two mile radius. <laughs> Check this out. Check this out. Look at Junior. Wow, Junior. Junior. Wow. Oh, got a haircut, huh, Junior? Looking good, Junior. Nice haircut, huh? Wow. Now all the ladies will be after you, right? <laughs> Guys, I wanted to tell you this too. I'm gonna to give you an update. I'm gonna keep walking up the road here. I'm gonna, somebody asked me to stop by one place and check it out for them. And they asked me if it was still up and running. Uh, but I did want to tell you guys, they, uh, that, that guy that got arrested for assaulting that elderly gentleman also got arrested for uh, use and possession 
of a controlled substance, Mary J. Wana. He's out. The guy is out. Uh, matter of fact, <clears throat> I went and actually spoke to the guy. I went inside. Good morning. I went uh, inside the prison area and asked if I could. Hey, all right. Good <laughs> morning. Uh, I actually asked if I could speak to the gentleman. And the police officers there in Station 4 said, sure, you can speak to him. So I actually spoke to him, talked to him. Uh, very remorseful of what he did. Uh, very remorseful. He, he flat out told me, he goes, I really don't remember a thing. He goes, I was so drunk, I don't remember a thing. And I've said that many times. Don't get so drunk, you don't know where you're at. Um, but they got him with, with, uh, I'm going to actually just stop here and talk. They actually got him with possession, possession, what, what, what did he tell me? There's a specific term for it here. Basically, you're possessing it and you're using, you're basically a user. Uh, because of the amount he had, it was so small that, um, they didn't throw him in jail. Like you always hear, they're going to throw you in jail and lock you up and you're never going to leave. Now, that's not true, guys. That is not true. Uh, there's different levels. You know, he got for possession and use. It's a bailable offense. What did he tell me? 200,000 pesos. What's that? Around 4,000 US dollars he had to pay to get out. Um, his issue with the elderly gentleman it is his issue with him. Uh, outside court, I don't know, I didn't ask him, but as far as him, and as far as people saying, you're gonna sit in jail for the rest of your life here if you get caught with marijuana, it's not true. It's a bailable offense, you bail out. However, if you get caught with a lot, a lot, a lot, now you're in that range there where you're not in usage, you're not using it for personal use, you're using it and you're selling it, that's how they look at it. So yeah, he did bail out. Uh, like I said, very remorseful what he did to the old man. He feels bad. Um, people make mistakes. People, you know, they do stupid stuff like this. Uh, but yes, as far as him, he's out. And uh, like I said, I spoke to him. I actually went back into the cell area and spoke to the gentleman. Uh, it's crazy because he told me flat out, he goes, you know, he goes, I actually had a place, I think he told me at Kokomo's, to sleep. And he wasn't, he's not here as a tourist, well, I'm sure he's on a tourist visa, but he's not here as a tourist, from what he was telling me. He's in and out of the Philippines. Uh, people want to say, well, what nationality was he? What nationality was he? Who cares what nationality he was, right? American, Canadian, Australian, German, who cares? what nationality they are the bottom line is the guy the guy fucked up and now he's paying for it it could have been worse it could have been a lot worse but uh of course you'll have people uh, that dumb american or that dumb german australian guys just because you're white don't meet you're an american right that's like saying ah you're asian so you're filipino no people's skin colors are skin colors Asian, Japan, Chinese, Vietnam, Vietnam, Vietnamese, Filipino, Thailand, they're Asian. Same way with white people. It's because they're white, don't mean they're all Americans. So, uh, yep, just wanted to give you that update real quick. Let you know what's going on with them. All right, guys, so I ran up here real quick because somebody wanted to know, is the brass knob still open? Yes, the Brass Knob is still open. Guys, Brass Knob was here pre-Pinatubo. I just asked the woman inside and she couldn't tell me. Uh, but yeah, it's been here a long time, still open. Uh, they did have one section that was, there you go, Brass Knob Hotel. This section right here at one time uh, was, I'm gonna walk down through here, uh, right here to the right, right here. That was at one time, that was a stage they had the girl show there and everything and then of course the restaurant and then inside the restaurant they have, they have a couple pool tables in there i think they still do uh, but i haven't been in there yeah, they still have they still have the pool table uh, 
yes, it's still up, it's still running. However, no more girls, no more girly stages. Uh, they converted that into a hotel area, so still up, still running. If anybody can tell me when the brass knob was built here, when it was, I don't know if the building was built, but when did the brass knob start? Let's put it that way. If anybody knows the establishment date of the brass knob, leave a comment below. All right, guys, I'm going to just wrap this one up. Another fun-filled, exciting day. Exciting morning in Angley City. This is my life for now. People can say, well, you know, you're in the Philippines. You can't, you know, you can't be uh, living a boring life. Well, guys, to me, I feel like I'm living a boring life here in the city. Like, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Like, the adventure has stalled for me. That's how I feel. It's stalled for me. But it will get better. It will get better. Uh, things will get better. Let's put it that way. Uh, once again, though, you know, thank you everybody for at least sticking with me. Uh, I feel like I'm just giving dry material. Uh, been here so long, I mean. How many restaurant reviews been done? How many hotel stays been here done it? I just feel stale here. I feel stale. You understand what I'm saying? Stale when it comes to like YouTube material and vlogging. That's just me. That's just how I feel. Can't fault me for how I feel, right? So anyways, guys, once again, thank you so much for sticking with me, staying with me. These guys are looking at me like I'm crazy, talking to myself. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll talk to you later.